Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Bomberman 64, the bonus episodes. I'm your host, Sally Senior, Zero Nine. And last time left off, we beat the game. Oh yeah, we totally rocked. Hoorah! We put the boo in booyah! Oh freaking yeah! Mm, mm, mm. All right, enough chanting and being dumb, dude. So, what are we doing here today? We're going to cover a few things in this episode. We're going to cover costume pieces and the custom balls and basically how they correlate with each other, I guess. I'm not going to go into details as to which color does what, because really you can't see them when you're collecting them. You're just like, ooh, shiny, let me pick it up and collect it, you know, when you find it in the adventure game. And right after that, we'll go ahead and look at the alternative, alternated dialogue, excuse me, after you've beaten up to World 5 and you collected all 100 gold cards. And then last, we're going to do the Green Gym Remote Control Bomb stuff. Uh, you'll, we'll, you'll see what I mean when we get to it. All right, on Custom Mode, on the main menu, if you go down here, and you select the file that you have completed. Oh, 120 gold cards, man, looks beautiful. You'll see that there's a file. It'll say, you'll see no data if you don't have a file there, and you'll see the name default to Bomberman. So let's go ahead and select ours real quick. Alright, so, in custom mode, what you can do is you can first, you can go to your name, and if you want, you can alter it. Well, I'll alter it later so we can save on time here. Um, you can go to the head, and you'll notice that you'll have different costume pieces. So let's press A on Knight Helmet. Aw, oh, yeah. Knights of the Round Table. Thou shall not be defeated by thine blade, because thine blade shall defeat you! I don't even know, I'm being stupid. Uh, you also have the Dragon Head. Iron Goggles, the Cat Hood, the Ponytails, and Sunglasses, Chicken Head, and Samurai Head. Oh yeah! Gotta fight! And right here you'll notice that there are two question marks. You'll see these on each of the costume pieces. The reason these are here, one of them is here because you have to beat this game in under three hours. You don't have to collect all the gold cards, but you have to beat the game in under three hours. The other one, and this is the one that's a real kick in the nerds, you have to beat this game on hard mode, collect 120 gold cards, and you have to do it in under three hours. So it's basically like Super Metroid on crack, essentially. It's like freaking or steroids. It is just balls to the wall. Crazy challenging. Some people could probably do it. I haven't seen anybody try to do it because nobody's crazy enough, I guess, yet. Or they're just like, Why can't I jump in this game? You know, because it's, again, Bomberman, jumpless character. So, now that you know that that's what those are. Oh, and the pieces, the costume pieces those are, um, I'm not really going to talk about them, but one of them is basically all gold, all the gold pieces, and the other one is just like some other goofy costume. Like I said, it's, it's pretty silly. It's... This is really a fluff and filler part of the game, so it doesn't really matter. So let's take a look at the bodies that we've unlocked. The bodies, we have knight armor, and as you can see, they kind of... Dragon mail, they kind of like... Um, they go with the flow with a the theme, you know. I mean, you can mix and match all you want. You got iron armor here, cat suit, the dress, fabulous! Almost looks like Princess Peach, kind of, sort of, without the bow in the back. Duck float, <laughs> nice. The rocket horse. <laughs> and the Shogun Kimono. Yeah, that's what we would look like, probably. You could also remove the items if you want to. I'm just going to leave it like that. Arms. Or I'm going to remove it, I mean, leave it like that. I, hello, if you're going to leave it like that, you don't remove the clothing, man. You're going to leave them naked. Arms, you basically, this is where the... You have, like, things on the gloves and stuff. You have, like, knight, knight sword and shield. Dragon gloves. Iron knuckles. Cat paws. Slash claws, these are my favorite actually, I like those, those are pretty cool. Drill arms, chicken wings, and fans, like you're a kimono girl or something, or somebody who fights with a fan. Again, more extra stuff, you, it's the same material, you can't do it unless you do some really incredibly challenging stuff that is based on how, how fast it takes you to beat this game, or how long it takes you to beat this game. And then of course you have leg pieces, knight shoes, dragon spikes, Iron sneakers. Looks like makes him look like a stone guy almost. Cat paws. High tops. Duck feet. Bubby socks. Oh, that one looks weird. And high heels. 
so fabulous because I'm wearing long heels, red bottom, long heels, red bottom, step, 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 and you'll need to stop. Okay, so again, these are all the costume pieces you unlock. I already explained the question marks. And what is the point of all this? Okay, well, there are two, th there's only one possibility I can tell you. When you uh, have designed your custom piece, and give me a second, I'm going to design a custom piece that I actually would like to use. Oh yeah, now that's kick booty, man. Once you've designed your your Bomberman, your custom-made Bomberman character, what you're going to do next is you're going to go ahead and go back to this menu. It'll ask you, would you like to save data? And, it, and you're going to say yes, it'll save it. Then, what you need to do is you need to have a Nintendo 64 memory card. Say what? Memory card? You're crazy, dude. You're crazy. Shut this video off. You're done. Hold it, hold it, hold it. I'm just kidding. I just... There is actually a memory card for the N64. Da 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 da! It's a memory card for the N64. This is something that you would actually plug in. Let me turn around, dude. Hello. You would plug this into the back of an N64 controller. Right here, as you can see, here's an N64 controller. Got all the lovely buttons, A, B, C, and all that good stuff. And on the back, this is a slot you would use to plug it in. Um, this is also the same slot that we you would use to plug in the Game Boy Color or Game Boy Pack or GB Pack, which I I have one of those as well. It's battered up a little bit, but it works. I promise. As you can see, it's like all we used and whatnot. And basically, you would use this for games like Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Stadium 2, Mario Golf, and Mario Tennis. And then, of course, what you would do with this is you would plug it into the back. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that because we're not playing Pokemon Stadium or anything like that. We're here. Turn around, dude, for the memory card. And I had it upside down again. Here we go. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what it looks like. And then what you do is you take the memory card and you plug it into the back of the N64 controller. Hopefully I haven't plugged it in right. Yeah, there you go. Make sure the memory card is going in like this. Plug it in so you hear a click. And you may have to actually redo this a few times because, or take, and by redoing a few times, I mean sometimes you may have to take this out like you're taking a cartridge out of the N64 and blow on it. The way you do that is there's actually a lever right here. Um, right there, let me go ahead and zoom it in here. Come on now, zoom in. There you go. You would pull that button in, and then it would be able to slide right out. And you would do that. Plug it in. Don't worry if you're doing this, you know, with some old material, some old, like, N64 accessories, whatever. Any, even the Game Boy packs. If you're doing it and you're having trouble getting it to work, don't worry. It happens because these, this is very clunky stuff. It was a very clunky way to do things. But anyway, the memory card... I'm just going to explain it now while I'm here. It was used for some games to help save data temporarily. Um, there's a couple games I can think of. Buck Bumble, uh, Robotron, if I remember the names right. Um, those are games that would let you save, quit temporarily, and you would be able to continue off where you last left off using the memory card. Um, obviously, of course, the memory card wasn't used. The N64 memory card was not used a lot because the games, the files that were on the game, the Nintendo 64 games, were saved in the cartridges themselves. But yeah, this is just a little uh, side note tutorial in case anybody's like, what in the world are you talking about? We're, what are you playing, the PlayStation 1, playing the hacks, you hacker? No, I'm, this, th this is a thing. This is legitimately something that existed. You can look it up. Now that you heard enough rambling from me, back to your future presentation. See ya. Anyway, what you want to do is you're going to go down to Copy from Game Pack. And hopefully this will work. Then you're going to select the file. And it'll ask you, would you like to copy this data over? And you say yes. And I already tested this out earlier. It's like, wait a minute. If you do this, you're going to overwrite your old one. I'm going to be like, yeah, sure, go ahead. Data copied to Nintendo 64 Controller Game Pack. All right, Rain Man, stop reading stuff. And that's basically what you do. What is the purpose of this? You can so choose to put a costume piece on in in the um, what you call it in the battle mode when you're battling each other. You can actually choose to do this. Now, what does this do? It really doesn't like do anything too spectacular. I mean, at the end at the end credits, you know, when you've won if you've won the battle mode for multiplayer, 
it'll show your name, whatever name you have, because you can change the name Bomber to something else. And it'll also cause Bomberman to do a different battle cry, a victory cry, actually. And I'll probably show one of them off. I'm not going to bother showing them all off because eh, it's too tedious. But what I will say this is if you want to see somebody who has shown all that off, like what happens with each of the costume pieces, like what Bomberman says, because it does alter his dialogue, what he says for his victory speech, or his victory cry, I should say, go to the SBW Productions. I've already I referenced to him once before. But he does a really thorough job on his bonus videos. I'll drop a link in the description to his video and his channel again. Pretty awesome guy. He does a spectacular job and a very thorough uh, coverage on games whenever he plays games. But he did a good job on this. I felt it was just worth mentioning. All right, on to the second bit. Let's go to Adventure. I'm not going to cut this out because, I mean, shoot, why the, why the heck should I, you know? It's just silly. In the ga in the uh, Adventure game, if you've defeated Seer or defeated... Altair in Vega, and you've collected all 100 gold cards, and you go to, say, any of the worlds, any of the stages that Sirius would be in, like, say, stage 3 of Green Garden, had to have or have not. Let me go ahead and go through this crap here. Yeah, yeah, go steal that. Yeah, yeah, come on, man, that's enough of this nonsense. We ain't got time for this. Ugh, such a long cutscene. Anyway, when you go over here, you talk to Sirius. Instead of him telling you a little bit about Altair and how evil he is, he's going to tell you straight up. <laughs> Bummer boy, it's useless for you to oppose me. Lie down quietly and meet your ends, Bummer boy. <laughs> yeah, he says this line every place you meet him. It doesn't change to anything else. He doesn't say anything else snarky, so... Yeah, just a little tidbit I figured I'd show you. There's other one other thing I want to show you that he says. It's in stage two, so let's go ahead and go there real quick. And here we are. Alright, Sirius, what have you got to say for us now that you're evil? Target confirmed. Commencing sampling. Target termination program activated. <laughs> Bummer boy. Yeah, yeah, you creep. Like, you got a chance. A snowball's chance, man. We beat you in Rainbow Palace. Like, seriously, you're, you're dead to us. You're freaking dead to us. I don't know why I'm showing this. But yeah, that's all the altered dialogue for Sirius. I'm probably just going to go ahead and... Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and beat this guy. I mean, shoot, why not? He's, he's really not that bad. Yeah! Yeah, you go ahead and just die. Just some sweet revenge, you know? Why the heck not? I should have probably powered up some, but... <laughs> yeah, right. Like, you really need to, dude. He really is not too bad killing this guy, because he's, he's so dumb he'll kill himself. Dude! Come on. We got enough failage. We don't need any more failure to add. There you go. Or jellier, as I've heard before. Damage level over 90%. Unable to execute program. Reporting back on the sampling data. <laughs> Bama boy. Yep, there you go. That's all the dialogue. So delighted. Alrighty, so that's pretty much all the alter dialogue you're going to get, as far as I know. I don't think there's anything else that's changed. If there is, my apologies. You can leave it in the comment, and I'll try to make mention of it in an annotation or something. Alright, last tidbit of bonus. <laughs> burp. No, not burp. If you go to any of the bonus, the boss stages, except for the one in Rainbow Palace, because for obvious reasons, we didn't have the remote control bomb. Since Sirius is now evil, he's not going to come in and swoop in and give us a remote control bomb. So what happens, you may ask, or may wonder. Ooh, hello, what is this shiny green thing here next to this dragon? Well, if you bomb it... There we go, takes forever. You'll blast the green crystal open and you'll pick up remote control bombs! Woo! Yay! And then we can do the fight again! Yeah, no, I'm not totally going to do that, but yeah, just a little tidbit that happens right after you beat the game up to a certain point and collect all 100 gold cards. All right, y'all, that's pretty much all that's going to that's all I'm going to do for this bonus episode. In the next bonus episodes, I'm going to cover multiplayer mode or battle mode, I guess that's what it's called, and I'll cover one other little tidbit just for poops and giggles, okay? So, thank you for watching. Love y'all bunches. Don't let your tail slap and peace out, y'all. Check it.